What is going on guys, Josh with ABS Fitness here today bringing you a quick supplement review video. I know I just talked about mass gainers last week. Um, today I'm actually bringing you a very quick pre-workout review. This is Ape Shit, full name Ape Shit Untamed, self-described as Animalistic Pre-Workout Fury. That is quite the mouthful. <clears throat> um, I actually just finished this up. I think I have one scoop left. Um, I got this when I ordered some other stuff from this company that makes this. Uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Primeval, Primeval. I've heard it like six different ways. Um, they also have their own line of some pre's. So they have like Mega Pre Red, Mega Pre Black. Um, I think like a Mega Pre White maybe. Um, this is still made by them, just under a different name, Ape Shit. Um, so let's talk about sort of the pros first. So pros, I do like the ingredients. It, it has a good blend of ingredients. It's got everything you need, the citrulline, the beta alanine, um, taurine, agmatine, um, and then it has their, their energy blend that's got like caffeine, a few different forms of caffeine actually, um, Yohimbi, uh, Hooperzine, stuff like that. Um, so the Hooperzine, the caffeine is going to be your mental focus energy. Everything else is going to be pump, blood flow, etc. Um, again, pros. I felt pretty good on it. I liked it. It's a pretty no-nonsense pre-workout. There's nothing crazy in it. Um, no big proprietary blends. The only blend they have is the Ape Shit blend, which is their caffeine blend, but it tells you how much total caffeine, everything else is listed out in exact amounts for what it is. So that I really like. I'm very anti-proprietary blend if I can avoid it just because I like knowing exactly what's in my products. To me, historically, from working at GNC and talking to people, proprietary blend is just going to be code for underdosed most of the time. And that's not always the case, but it's just how it is, unfortunately. Um, so with this, again, it was no nonsense. The ingredients were good. I felt pretty good on it, okay? It was nothing to write home about. I mean, it was not like the best pre-workout I've ever been on. But for me, this was actually a really good one to use to come off of some stuff I've been using for a while. So that actually worked out pretty well for me. Um... Taste-wise, it's pretty good. This is the Blue Raz, I think. Uh, I'm sorry, Smashberry, um, which is essentially like a, a Blue Raz type thing. Um, it's good. It's a little sweet, but it's good. Uh, I mixed it with other flavors of stuff, too. I had like I had a carb powder I used, um, and the flavors actually mixed pretty well. Mixability-wise, it's good. Sometimes there was a little bit of, like I guess, what you could call sediment in the bottom where it didn't mix. Um, but it was barely any for the most part it mixed just after a few shakes no blender ball or anything um, Let's talk about the not so great um, This is not really anything against them. This is just a pet peeve I have and I understand why supplement companies do it. It's just annoying to me So this stuff is always marketed as 40 scoops um, 40 servings, but you can take one or two scoops So really like for me, I mean if you have ever taken a pre-workout before and want something semi-strong you're gonna have to take two so this is really only 20 servings um, so with one scoop it's still not bad but again everything's cut in half so caffeine wise you're looking at 125 milligrams less than two and a half grams of citrulline 1.6 grams of beta alanine I don't even really get beta alanine tingles anymore unless it's over like 3.2 3.5 grams sometimes I have to take upwards of four to feel it just because I've taken it for so long. Now, for those of you who didn't know, the clinical dose of beta alanine did just get raised from 3.2 to 6.4 grams. Obviously, that's a little too much to take at one time, um, but you know, there's no really danger of going over 3.2, so that's fine. Um, so I took two scoops of this. Now, you might also be asking why do you have both L-citrulline and agmatine? Ag now, from what I understand, again, this could be wrong. From what I understand, agmatine is um, absorbs faster, I guess, or gets into your bloodstream faster. I think it has to do with the, the particle size of agmatine, so it diffuses faster um, into the bloodstream, which is sort of like your immediate pump, per se. Um, the citrulline takes a little bit to get in, so that's why they combine um, nitric oxide ingredients in pre-workouts. So I did two scoops of this, so I got 20 servings out of it. It was buy one, get one free, and I think like $39.99 for one. So I paid right at a dollar a serving, a uh, dollar for two scoops, I should say, um, which to me was, was worth it. So I got two canisters of this, 40 servings, it was 40 bucks. 
Very no-nonsense, good pre-workout, no hidden ingredients or anything, no big proprietary blends, no red flags. So overall, I liked this. Um, like I said, it wasn't my favorite I've been on. I've actually got one I just started that's probably going to end up being my favorite that I'll have to do a big review on when I'm done. Um, but this is going to kind of be my go-to when I'm like wanting to come off of some pre-workouts I've been on for a long time. So that's really helpful for me. So I'll let you guys look at the label here. Smashberry, Ape Shit Untamed. Not really going to be able to see the ingredients on there, but so yeah, overall, I mean, if I had to give it a score out of 10 right now, I would give it like a solid 6 or a solid 7 out of 10. Like I said, not the best thing I've ever had, but it was really good for the price, honestly. You're going to be hard pressed to get a good pre workout for, you know, a dollar or less per serving. So. Good deal for me. I really liked it. If you guys have questions about it, um, about any of the ingredients, this product or Primavol's line of supplements, just shoot me a comment or an email. Um, I'll be probably reviewing that pre-workout I mentioned later. Um, and we got some more videos coming your way. Matthew's getting involved with the video making process. You guys will get to see him. Um, and we will catch you next video.